Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of November 6th to November 12th, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Virgo, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy. Let's see your energy first. Um, I am currently still sick with a cold, so if I sound different, that's the reason why, okay? Um, I caught a cold or, or a flu. What's the difference between cold and flu? I think it's fever, right? I don't, I don't have any fever, so I think I have a cold. I did have fever, but not anymore. It, it went away. All right. But let's look at your energies, Virgo. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what is Virgo's energy in regards to love for this week. Let's see. What is Virgo's energy in regards to love for this week? All right, here we go. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles to the Three of Cups to the Two of Cups. Okay. Some of you are interested in someone new. It's not going to be for all of you, but I feel like some of you are interested in a new person. But it kind of looks like you and this person are just friends or just acquaintances. Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, Virgo's energy in regards to love for this week. The Tower, the Death card, and the Nine of Swords. Hmm. Okay, what is this about? It does look like there was some sort of big ending here, a big separation or breakup between you and someone. But this could also be the person that you're interested in. Um, sorry, I just, I'm getting these messages. I gotta, I, I gotta go along with it. I feel like the person that you're interested in um, has recently went through some sort of big breakup or separation in their life. And it's something that's still causing them a lot of grief and disruption in, in their mentally and emotionally. Okay, so I'm getting different stories here. But I'm going to go ahead and clarify your energy. Spirit, tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles connected to Virgo's energy. The Tower the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Cups. Okay, so the Tower is connected to you. Um, so I do feel like um, some of you, for some of you, it's you. You're the one who went through some sort of separation or breakup. But the person that you broke up with doesn't want to break up with you. Knight of Wands to the Five of Cups. This is someone who feels a lot of pain and, and sadness over this breakup that they experienced with you. 
with the Knight of Wands, that's basically telling me that they don't want to give up on you. They don't want us. They don't want to accept this ending. Now, I am getting that for some of you. Um, you've already accepted this ending. You've already accepted this this breakup, and you're either connecting to someone new. Some of you might be con already connecting to someone new, or like you're interested in someone new. Okay, I am getting that. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me let me verify your feelings just to make sure. Just to make sure. Spirit, how does Virgo feel about this person um, that they broke up with or separated from? How does Virgo feel? What are Virgo's feelings for this person that they're in separation from? Okay. Um, you know, ten, 10 of swords and the eight of cups. Mm, I just feel like you're over it. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like you're over it. Ten of swords and the eight of cups is your feelings. Like you're emotionally checked out. You're emotionally done. And with the seven of pentacles, it kind of looks like you're very focused now on your own personal growth, on your own personal stability, on your work, your career, your, your finances. You know, you're very focused on improving yourself. Yeah. And, and creating progress for yourself. I also feel like you're focused on healing. So I'm not seeing any emotions here connected to this person. I, I'm not really getting emotions from you, Virgo. No, I'm just not. All right, let's go to this person now. Let's see, spirit angels and guys, please show me what are, what is this person's energy towards Virgo for this week? What is this person's energy towards Virgo for this week? What is this person's energy towards Virgo for this week? All right, so in their energy, we have the Queen of Cups. We also have the Five of Wands, and we also have the Magician. Queen of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Magician, yeah. So this, this person definitely feeling pretty devastated here. They're definitely emotionally um, hurt, feeling hurt, wounded, upset. Yeah. Over whatever conflict or drama or separation here happened between you and this person. They're very upset about it. Bottom of the deck, in their energy towards Virgo. Ten of Swords, Six of Cups, and the World. Yeah, so once again, with the Ten of Swords and the World, um, this does mean that there was an ending, a breakup, the cycle closed between you and this person. And again, this person feels like they still love you with the Six of Cups. They still feel a really strong soulmate connection with you, emotional connection with you, and they still want you. They can't stop thinking about you. You know, they can't stop reminiscing over you 
and thinking about the good times that they feel like they had with you. With the magician, I do feel like this person um, intends to manifest this relationship back into life. I'm going to clarify that magician. Spirit, tell me about the magician card connected to this person's energy. Tell me about the magician card connected to this person's energy towards Virgo. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, there's a codependency energy here. Yeah, this person feels like they need you. Not that they want you, they need you. That's what I'm getting from them. They're very stressed. They're very stressed out. Um, with the lovers and the queen of pentacles. Hmm. This person feels like you were really good to them though. They feel like you were very, you were really, really good to them. Yeah, they feel like they you were good to them and they feel like they ruined a really good opportunity here that they had with you. With the lovers and the queen of pentacles, this person again, they feel like you are their soulmate. They feel a deep spiritual connection with you, a deep emotional connection with you. Um, and they feel like they need you at this point. They feel like they're lost without you or they would be lost without you. The world happened here. It's interesting though because you seem pretty good. Your energy your energy looks pretty stable. So you clearly have no regrets, I wanna say. This person does. This person has a lot of regrets. You don't seem to be carrying a, a guilty conscience of any kind. Uh, I guess a little bit with the Seven of Pentacles, you know, I mean, not necessarily guilt, but maybe you feel like you, you should have acted sooner. You should have acted sooner is what I'm getting. Maybe you let things drag out too far, you know, that might be your regret. You let it drag too far. You, you let it drag out too far. Okay. Hmm. Let's see the five of wands. Let's see what the issue is. Spirit, tell me about the five of wands. Tell me about the five of wands. They're feeling stupid. I'm getting that. They're feeling stupid and they're feeling foolish. Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Death card. It, it kind of looks like this person couldn't make up their mind with the Two of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. They just couldn't make up their mind about what they wanted with you. You know, I feel like they kept changing or they kept switching up on you. Yeah, I'm getting that. I feel like this person never really made a decision. And now it's too late, you know? Huh. Let me see if I can get any something about that. Spirit, why is um why is Virgo rejecting this person? Why is Virgo rejecting this person? Why is Virgo rejecting this person here? 
Three of Pentacles, Strength, and the Seven of Cups. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. That's not good. This person wasn't loyal. Strength card. Strength card is all about loyalty. They weren't loyal to you. They were improving their loyalty to you. They were, um, they were dealing with other options. Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. You felt like this person was, you know, involved with others. You know, talking to other people, dealing with other people. Uh, too many, too many people in the picture. And you didn't feel like this person was respecting you and valuing you. They, they were giving their attention to someone else or to other people. They weren't being um, loyal to you. Okay. How does um, Virgo view this person? How does Virgo view this person? Empress and the Emperor and the Magician. Well, you feel like you two could have had a good thing. Maybe you, you two, you, some of you feel like you two could have been a power couple with the Empress and the Emperor, a power couple, I'm getting. Yeah, you two, you feel like you two could have been really good together. You feel like you two could have had a successful future together, a successful life, a successful relationship. But this person, it kind of looks like um, they didn't make the decision to commit to you. They, they stayed detached. Okay, they chose to, to stay detached. All right, let me see, what else am I gonna do? Let's take a look, at, let me see more about this person's energy. Let's see. Spirit, what else can you tell me about this person's energy towards Virgo for this week? We have the Seven of Cups, we have the Three of Wands, and we have the Moon. Okay. There's something about this person that's very wishy-washy, I feel. Yeah, and it's very changeable. You know, they are showing up as Queen of Cups, so I do feel like this person's emotions are constantly fluctuating, you know? And, and are constantly switching. Sometimes they know what they want and other times they're confused and they don't know what they want. You know, I am getting that. And, and it's like, you don't have, oh, sorry about that. I hit the table with my ring. Um, I feel like you don't have time for that, you know, with the seven of pentacles here. It's like, you don't have time for that. You don't have time for people that are, you know, one way, um, people that are like switching up their personalities or their uh, feelings. Today they're one way and tomorrow they're a different way. Or today they feel this and then tomorrow they feel that. You know, it's like, it, it's very inconsistent and unpredictable. And you don't have time for that. You don't have time to be on a merry-go-round with this person. Hmm. What else can you tell me about this person's energy towards Virgo for this week? Yeah, it does look like this person has other options with the Seven of Cups and the Three of Wands. 
this person does have other options, but they see you as the one, you know? But they do have other options. What else can you tell me about this person's energy towards Virgo this week? King of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Mm. Like I said, this person does see you as the one. Ace of Cups to the Seven of Cups. They feel like you're the one for them. Um, and they do want this long-term relationship with you. But with the King of Cups here, I'm not, I don't think I like that energy. Tell me about this King of Cups spirit. Clarify the King of Cups connected to this person. Ten of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Well, this person is definitely claiming that they've changed and that, you know, they're willing to put in the effort now. They're willing to put in the work. They're willing to prove themselves to you. But you're just kind of in this energy of like, why did it have to get to this point, you know? for you to get your act together and you know and come towards me correctly why did it why did it have to get to this point you know and and i feel like you just you're not interested anymore like you're not as interested as you were before cuz it kind of looks like this person was very lazy i'm getting like a laziness from them okay all right virgo i'm going to continue in the extended reading now and I am going to take a deeper look at this person that you're dealing with. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you, most importantly. And then I'll take a look at what actions will they be taking towards you moving forward into the future. So if you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.